Hey guys, so I recently saw Captain Marvel and I went into it with mixed feelings because I didn't really know a lot about Captain Marvel. I watched like one review and it wasn't amazing and <clears throat> so similar similarly to IMDB ironically it says Karen Danvers becomes one of the universe's most powerful heroes when Earth is caught in the middle of a gal galactic war between two alien races so the movie I'm gonna just try to give a quick synopsis of the movie because to be honest with you I don't remember every little detail and I uh, Carol Danvers um, who honestly makes me think of Cara Danvers from like Superman so that's kind of funny um, but she wakes up from a nightmare and then she goes tra she goes and trains with played by Jude Law and then they go meet up with their other teammates and then they hatch a scheme to basically the oh my god I'm doing a really great job of describing this movie but I feel like it's one of those movies where you have to see it more than once to really understand every not that it's like a complicated movie but it's like it's unfortunately forgettable let's just say that beginning of the movie I liked Captain Marvel's personality and it definitely definitely like showed show it in the first like 15 minutes of the movie and then when she had to um leave her ship things went amok 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 she went to the surface she went to earth it felt like thor in a, a little bit when she was on earth because she landed in the blockbuster which it was really funny because last week they had a news report about the block about Blockbuster and how there was two Blockbuster stores in the world and now there's only one in uh, I believe Oregon. But yeah, she lands in the Blockbuster and it turns into Fury and Coulson becoming like it kind of turned into a cop movie and I I I didn't hate the movie but will I see it again? Probably not. My friend Shelby, she actually saw it last night and she told me that she had mixed feelings about it and she had mixed feelings about Brie Larson, which I kind of do too. Like, I just feel like she's done better. And I feel like I can't help comparing this to Wonder Woman because this is like the Marvel's version of Wonder Woman, basically. Like, this is the first, as far as I know, the first, like, Marvel woman-led Marvel movie. And honestly, I think Wonder Woman was way better. Like... Uh, I just and I don't want to think that but I really I love seeing Jude Law's character um, I mean because I love Jude Law and every time I saw him I thought to myself oh my god because he was in Fantastic Beasts Crumbs of Grindelwald and I haven't seen that movie either even like I said even the description on IMDB is like very vague like which I find very funny basically just her trying to help these two different alien races not kill each other yeah I don't know I would give it like I think my brother said he'd give it a seven. I would probably give it a six because it's not great. It's decent. I think the biggest reason why it made so much money over the weekend was because it's a very female-led movie and it gives it empowers women and girls, little girls, to look up to themselves and to be strong and powerful. Which I love that message. I love feminism. I love girls being tough and badass. Like. Some of my favorite characters of all time are badass bitches. And yes, she's badass in this movie. But I didn't love the storyline. I don't know. I, I felt like she lost personality throughout the movie. And when, these, when they make these kinds of movies, they have to pack so much into two hours and four minutes, which is how long the movie was. And it's hard to do that. It's hard to pack in character development the emotional components so that you actually care about the characters. It's hard to pack in a good storyline also, and I didn't love the storyline. We, we find out why Nick Fury is missing an eyeball in the movie, and, spoiler alert, he gets scratched by a cat. Oh, and the Tesseract is in the movie too, so that's kind of cool. 
But yeah, he gets he gets scratched by a cat, and that's what, like like I feel like that could have been written better, especially for Nick Fury's character. Like you wouldn't expect that to be the reason that he lost his eye. Like you'd expect it to be some like crazy heroic, brave heart decision. But but yeah, so those are my thoughts. Um, if you are if you're a humongous Marvel fan, I would say to go see it. I mean, cause it's I kind of agree. It's just a popcorn movie. It's not gonna win any big awards. It's gonna make a lot of money because it's Captain Marvel and it's Marvel in general and um, I don't know. It wasn't bad, but eh, eh. glad I saw it. I'm um, glad it wasn't like really long. Like it could have been two hours and 30 minutes. So that would have been not, not great. But yeah, so I mean, those are my thoughts. I, it's just, it's just forgettable. But I hope you guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button for more reviews from me. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.